Hey everybody, it's Jenny. I wanted to make a video. I had a couple requests and um, a tutorial was requested on how I put together this little pen pal snail mail um, booklet here with um, just a paper bag and an additional piece of cardstock. So if you're familiar with uh, paper bag minis, you know that this is the construction that goes into the pages that um, make up your mini album. But if you're not familiar with mini albums, then this is new to you. So basically, this is what it looks like, you know, um, just bare when I have just put my paper on. So what you need for the little booklet, basically, is um, any size paper bag that you want. These are just the sacks and things by Paper Studio. These are actually quite a bit smaller than your average lunch bag. They're $2.99, but if you catch them half off, they're, you know, $1.99. So I really like these just because they are, you know, a little bit smaller. But you can cut any size down. Um, let me see. I think these were the same ones, but these were in black. So I tend to go for those. Um, and then you'll just need a sheet of cardstock. You can use 110 pound. It works, you know, it works really well, but this is just regular cardstock because you are going to usually, um, you know, matte paper over it, which is going to make it a lot sturdier. So I did not use 110 pound cardstock. I just used regular in this case. So if you have a scoreboard, you can get that out. If you don't, you can just kind of eyeball it. Um, you can use scissors or a paper trimmer. So you want to take your bag and you want to grab your sheet of cardstock and you want to kind of measure, um, measure, you know, where your length there. Okay. So you know that you're going to need that much for your flap. Now, you know, you're going to need some excess because the excess is what's going to go inside of this little crease here in your bag. Okay, that's going to create your flap. So you want to leave about a half of an inch. So you want to go ahead and make it the same width of your bag with an additional half an inch on the edge there. Okay, you want to take your half an inch and score it. Fold it really well. I like to, you know, just miter in my edges just because it makes it easier. So all I've done is just take my cardstock, made it the same width as my paper bag, plus an extra half an inch. Scored it or folded it, mitered in my edges, okay? Now, you know how your paper bags have your gussets, okay? You're gonna take the gusset on the left-hand side. On the left-hand side, you're going to take the part that we scored. You're going to take adhesive of your choice. I'm just using that um, Aileen's Quick Dry um, Tacky Glue. And you're going to put it on both sides. Just for time purposes, I'm not being like, I would usually be like quite a bit neater about this. And then you want to open up your gusset on the left side. And you want to slide in I'm trying to, I'm sorry, I'm trying to like look and make sure I'm in frame. Slide it in, make sure that it's even. Make sure you got it in there. If you have a bone folder, you can use that. Then I go ahead and I flip my little flappy up. And I put my glue, because that's gonna be our pocket. And on the front there. So that's that's it. So now we have created our pocket. And just so you know, I usually do take off about quarter of an inch off the top of my bag just so that it's um, even up with the, my cardstock because my bag's always a little bit longer than my cardstock so I always do trim off a little bit of my bag 
So now we have our pocket and then we open it up and we have our little booklet. Just let it dry a little longer. And then like I said, then you just take your papers. I didn't um, glue this down yet, so. And mat it. So that's it, it's that simple. So you just cut your cardstock, score about a quarter, half an inch, make sure you miter your edges just to make it easier, add your adhesive, glue it into the left side. And I always kind of like, I like to round my edges now. So what I'm gonna do next is I have one ready to go, I kind of get them ready. I have a little um, sailor one ready to go here. So I'm gonna make a video right after showing how I actually can construct one. So stay tuned for that. And then I 